Hey everyone, this is Don Johnson with Hot Results Copywriting. In this video, we'll be covering destroying harmful sales myths that might be keeping their sales down. And this is um, pretty simple, uh, pretty basic and simple stuff to some people because they just don't think of this when they're in their businesses or um, if you know when they're making their products, concentrating on their marketing or whatever stage in the business development or you know sales they are. But um, there are a few nasty but sort of lesser known, hard to see uncommon myths that can literally keep your customers away and your profits low and the first of these that I'll be covering here is that you don't need to actively bring in customers in order to gain sales I don't know how other businesses see this but you have to have visitors and traffic some way either through YouTube videos forum posting going you know face to face with people you have to bring in people in some form to your business and when people like okay they just they have a product they want to sell and then they just have a store, they even have a website, everything looks good, payment processors are set up, PayPal is good, and they realize, oh crap, and they, they just leave it there, and it's like, people will ask them, How, how's your business going, and it's like, there's nothing going on, because they didn't think of that aspect, They're, they weren't even really, it, some of them might be serious, but they focus on everything except for getting customers, and that's, it, be, it could be based on fear, it could be based on anything, but it's um, kind of a very, uh, not even myth, but just, way to think about things uh, such that you are literally um, you, you've made a business but you don't have like the wherewithal or like conscious like awareness to get customers like bring them in somehow even pay it for traffic or whatever and it's uh, obviously a huge harmful mistake and you have to reflect on this early on so this doesn't happen to you where you focus on the bigger picture so that that isn't a thing where you have a business set up literally a storefront and you have no customers and you have almost no intention of bringing in customers the second is that you need to concentrate on marketing sales first before you make a good product and that's a little odd um, you might have the idea of creating let's say a Facebook campaign for advertising or let's say even Google AdWords I don't know what whatever your um, traffic medium is that's marketing but you can't have that sort of um, figure it out before your product is done because if you, if you get sidetracked too much with product develop or with uh, with marketing and sort of getting visitors and you don't have a product what are you really doing but sort of delaying the inevitable that your product either might not be good enough you might not have a high quality enough product and people that, you, that sort of buy from you this is where the, it's a recipe literally as cliche as it is recipe for horrible disaster when you realize that a few sales might be coming in because you concentrate on marketing and getting customers first um, and then they realize this product is all right but it's not great they're being nice when they say that because literally you didn't finish it or is like half-assed or you were so scared or whatever about not getting the sales that you got those first and the product itself isn't good and they have to refund or they, they just have to politely ask you to stop you know messing around or you know kind of you know being a dick about literally your business because you made it seem as if our product was even finished and there's nothing there and um you just you have to focus on um you know getting a product to the point that it's beyond expectations you know it's good it's like solid um, it will literally satisfy your clients wants needs and desires for whatever it is and then once it, your product is finished and you know desirable then we can talk about creating a, a quality sales page for you literally what I do copywriting and at that point um, we just talk and see how we can further enhance your business and take things to another level so it's product development Focusing on how you're going to get your traffic, which is your marketing. And to me, this is simple. That that's All of these steps are simple, but you would not believe how many people actually fall for this where it's like um, these two just errors and, and judgment and kind of just not seeing the bigger picture there. But um, basic stuff here, and if you execute any of these, either of these um, kind of harmful errors in your business, you will literally kind of, um, not just myths, but errors. Um, you won't have a good business but this has been Don Johnson with Hot Results Copywriting and if you want to learn more or reach out um, if you want to talk about creating a sales page for your products or services please um, check out the links below thank you